What's up you guys? Welcome back to Melanie's channel. So today I have a special guest. Hi guys. So this is my little nephew. His name's Josiah. So for those of you guys who follow the whole fam, you guys know Josiah is my niece Brittany's son. So that's a quick little intro. Josiah has been helping me around the kitchen. He wanted to join us in our little video today. So for today's video, you guys, we are going to be making tacos dorados con consomme. So what we're gonna make the tacos of, we're gonna put papas and we're gonna put carne de res inside of it. For those of you guys who don't speak Spanish, we're gonna put potatoes and beef inside of it. So let me show you guys how I make mine. You are going to need tri-tip. You're going to need papas, aka potatoes, tomatoes, queso fresco, we're gonna need lettuce, sour cream. We're gonna need garlic. So well, then we're gonna need vinegar. And you're gonna need tortillas. Okay guys, so I just put this meat to boil. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a piece of onion. Usually I use two garlic cloves. I don't know why this garlic is so fucking big. So I'm only gonna use one, but usually I would use about two garlic cloves. And I'm gonna put these two little bay leaves. Now I'm gonna add salt. And we're gonna let this cook. Make sure you guys keep checking on the meat because you're gonna have to keep adding water. So I would check up on it about maybe every 30 minutes. Okay guys, so I cooked my carne de res for about maybe three hours or so. Make sure that you guys do not throw away the caldo because you guys need this. Don't throw away the broth. Also, I already boiled my potatoes. I'm using about six potatoes. So right now, I have Josiah helping me peel the potatoes. We gotta teach them young, guys. Okay, Josiah, so what are we doing now? Smashing potatoes. This is what we're doing, you guys. We're smashing the potatoes. You guys can use, um, a, well, I call it a bean smasher. Here's my carne, you guys. It is nice and shredded. All right, guys, so now these potatoes are nice and smashed. Now I'm going to put some of my shredded beef in the potatoes. And I also want to mention, if you guys don't eat meat, you can actually just make it just with the potatoes. But, you know, we all, we're all carnivores here, so we're throwing meat in it. And you guys can add more meat in it if you guys want. I'm not going to add that much. I'm going to add like this much, maybe. Now I'm just going to mix this. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic salt. And then we're just going to mix it again. Okay, guys, the next thing I'm going to do is I wrapped up my tortillas in some paper towels. I don't have any kitchen towels right now, so I'm using this. So we have to improvise. I put it on the microwave for three minutes. I'm about to get started on my tacos, but before I do, I have water boiling. And I'm going to add three tomatoes to boil. And we're going to let them boil for about three minutes. Now that the pan is hot, I'm going to add oil. I'm at about that much. And now we're going to let the oil heat up. Now what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start making my tacos. So I'm going to grab one. And we're going to put some of the meat with the papa in it. And then I'm just going to close it. Usually, if you have toothpicks, I would recommend that you stick a toothpick in the middle um, just so it's easier for it to stay on longer. I don't have any. I'm just going to put it in like that. See how this one's nice and golden? That's when we're going to flip them over. And now we're going to take out our tomatoes. Okay, guys, so this is how you know it's ready. It's nice and golden. And now we're going to take it out. All right, guys, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to grab a purple onion. And we're going to cut it in thin circles. All right, guys, so now I have my onion cut in circles. And then I cut it in half. As you can see. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add vinegar. You guys can add either vinegar to the onions or you can add lemon and salt. 
I personally like it with the vinegar. And then we're gonna add vinegar to our onions. We're gonna basically soak them in vinegar. And I'm gonna put a cap on it just so I could give it a good shake. And we're gonna let them sit. I do recommend that you do this maybe as soon as you start cooking just so that they get marinated really good. So now that my tomatoes are nice and cooked, I'm gonna start throwing them in the blender. And we're gonna use all three tomatoes. Now I'm gonna start on my consomme. So I'm gonna get some of the beef broth that we made earlier. And we're gonna put it in the blender. I put about this much broth in it and you can always add more. Now I'm gonna add the oregano. I'm using about this much, I'm not using too much. And you wanna make sure you kind of like grind it just so it's not so thick. And be careful with oregano because it has a very strong flavor so you don't wanna add too much. I'm going to add a little more broth just because I don't want it to be so like tomatoey. Okay, so I added way more chicken broth, so let's try it out now. Just for a little extra flavor, I'm going to add one tablespoon of the beef bouillon. So our consomme is nice and tasty. Now we're going to put it to heat up in a pot. And we're just going to let it heat up for maybe about two minutes. And if it gets super foamy, you can remove the foam. You can also put this through a strainer. Okay guys, now I'm going to show you how to prep your tacos. This is what my consomme looks like. You see how it's kind of more like, it's more like soup. That's the consistency you want. If it's too thick, you just add more broth into the mix. I'm going to grab a little bit of broth. And you don't have to add a lot. Um, I personally love it, so I'm going to kind of add. I'm going to drench mine in it. Now we're going to add shredded lettuce. I'm going to add avocado. I love avocado, so I'm going to stack mine up. I'm going to add some onions. These onions are super good, you guys. Like, for real, if you guys are going to make these tacos, I highly suggest you make these. The flavor of the onion is sweet once you add the vinegar. I do recommend that you use only purple onion, though. Now I'm going to add queso fresco. I'm going to add sour cream. And that is my plate, you guys. Look at how fucking bomb this looks. That looks fire. Alright guys, so it is about that time. This is for all my freaks. It is time for the fetish bites. Alright guys, also my helper bailed out on me to go play a video game. So I'm just writing solo now. Let me move you guys a little closer. That way you guys can take a good look at my fetish bite. Alright you guys, look at how fire this looks. Let's see. Mm-hmm. It is. All that's missing is a little tapatio. But let me do another bite for you guys. Mm-hmm. Fucking fire, you guys. All right, guys, and that completes today's video. I hope you guys like this recipe. If you guys make the recipe, don't forget to send me your videos. Also, the lashes that I'm wearing are from Batty B Lashes, and they are in the style IG. Don't forget to use my discount code, which is MoMoney. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And thank you guys so much for watching MoMoney's channel.